Hey guys, how's it going? Nuka here. Today is Monday, January 27th, 2014, and this is my vlog. I haven't done one in a while, but I have a lot on my mind, and today was a really good day for me. I had some exciting news that I will share, but first things first. Um, this morning I got my box from Glock. He sent me a package with a really cool collector's item inside. Two cool collector's items inside, actually. Um, I didn't have one of these. Um, I couldn't, definitely couldn't afford one of these. So I'm really, really excited about this. And I have don't have the amount of words that it would take to tell Glock how thankful I am. But all I can say is thank you, Glock. I really appreciate it, and I'm really excited about this. So thank you very much. Um, I am working on my Gears of War collection videos. I will have the first one up in the next three days or so, and I plan on doing one a week until I am done with the collection. My collection grew a lot in 2013. Um, it's a collection that I just absolutely love. I love my video game collection, but and my Gears of War collection is kind of part of that, but my Gears of War collection just kind of stains on its own. I love Gears of War, and it's it's just my collection. It's like my favorite collection. So, the other thing I've been working on lately is um, Play for Paws. It is a charity, 24-hour charity event uh, that we will we will stream on Twitch. GZB is is uh, participating in this. In fact, without them, I couldn't. This wouldn't happen. Um, this was kind of my brainchild, but it's our event. We're all doing this together, and without them, I couldn't do it. So, thank you to GZB and everybody that's included in this and working on this with us. I think it's great. I'm really excited about this. So it will benefit First Coast No More Homeless Pets for the second year. Um, I hope to do this every year. I think that would be great. First Coast is located in Jacksonville, Florida. They have spay and neuter programs, uh, low cost spay and neuter. They have free spay and neuter for really low income, in income uh, households, families. They have a pet food bank. They have what they call the Angel Fund. If your your pet, your member of your family, is which is how I refer to them actually, um, has an emergency and the family can't afford it, the Angel Fund is there to help these families so their pets don't suffer. Um, that's really cool because there's been times I know for me in the past when I've had a pet, a family member as I call it, that I've had an emergency and I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. I didn't have the money and I was on my own at that point. I just didn't know what to do. And thank God there was somebody there to help me get through it, but some families don't have anybody. There's nobody there. So that's when uh, First Coast steps in and helps out. So and they, their philosophy is spay, neuter, adopt. Spay neutering is very, very important important in um, keeping the euthanasia rate down. And they've really done a good job at that in Jacksonville. So I think they're a very worthy cause, and I hope you guys all come out and help support so support the event. Um, Epic Soul Gears, so they will not be sponsoring us this year. But we have El Gato. And um, they, they are donating Game Capture HD. We have Squid Grip. They're going to be donating some, some grips. Um, I believe they're going to be for the new consoles. Um, EA is donating three games. I'm not sure which ones they are yet. I won't know until they get here. Um, I've got other, other um, businesses I'm going to contact. GZB, of course, is in on this. They're sponsoring. And they're putting a lot of work into this, too. So that's just awesome. So if you're interested, um, May 9th, 10 o'clock Central Standard Time, we will start it off with some Gears of War, and then we're going to move into Titanfall on the Xbox One. Um, the big news today is Microsoft bought the Gears of War franchise, which is really cool. And here's why, because they're bringing Rod Ferguson back, and Rod Ferguson is going to take the game and they're gonna he's gonna take that and go back to what we the fans love so that's awesome because judgment let's face it was a disappointment I had a great time playing with GZB on judgment 
and I had a great time as Epic Reaper playing. That was just the highlight of my gaming life, really. Um, so there's, you know, that was great. I met some great people while I was playing the Epic Reaper. I'm really thankful that it was that opportunity was given to me. I had a lot of fun. But when I was done with the Epic Reaper character, and I had to go back to being, you know, a regular character, just playing as Marcus or whoever, um, just wasn't as fun. And that's because it was boring. I realized just how boring it really was to me. It just didn't didn't have the same flair, the uniqueness that the the previous Gears title did, Gears titles did. So I just I didn't like it much. And it has caused a rift in the community. And I, I will say, I will admit right away that I have dogged it, dogged judgment quite a bit uh, in the past few months. I just have not been feeling Gears at all. But I'm really, really excited about the news today that, you know, that Rod's coming back and Microsoft is going to have Black Tusk uh, Studios uh, make the game and Rod is going to oversee it. So that's really cool. I think we're going to get back to the roots of Gears, what makes Gears unique, and that's great for the community. That's great for us as gamers. That's great for Microsoft because it's going to make them more money. Um, what this means for Xbox and, you know, Microsoft as a whole, Xbox One, um, I think it's going to be, I think, that's my opinion, I'm going to, I'm going to say that it's going to stay exclusive to Xbox One. It's going to stay on the platform. So that's cool. Um, if it went to Sony, I mean, you know, if it went like multi-platform, I guess that's okay, but I don't think that Microsoft is going to do that because, I mean, you got Halo, Gears, Dead Rising, um, what else is exclusive to Xbox? I don't even know because I'm a very focused gamer. I don't play like tons and tons of games on the Xbox 360 or the Xbox One for that matter. There's not tons on the Xbox One right now. But um, I think it's going to stay exclusive and that's cool. And that's good for GZB and that's good for the community. It's going to bring us together again because Judgment kind of put a rift in us and I really think that a successful Gears game that goes back to the roots of Gears is just going to be, it's going to be the glue that we've been needing as a community. So that's pretty cool. Um, Black Tusk is located in Vancouver, British Columbia, which is cool. That's fine. That's where Rod and them will be working on it. And I can't wait to see what they come out with. Um, Cliffy B is not coming back. He had, he put something up on his blog that he's not coming back. He's moving forward. So that's cool, whatever. Hey, I don't care. As long as Gears is, we get another Gears game that goes back to its roots and just flipping awesome again, I am totally happy with that. And, you know, Rod coming back is just great. I think that's great. So I'm really, really excited about it, and I thought I'd talk about it today just because I don't have anybody here to share my excitement with. So, you know, my husband's not really a gamer, <laughs> and I don't have any gamer friends here. So I thought I'd share my views with you guys, and um, please comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.